my channel. Uh, this is another pickup video. I picked up a few different lots these last couple of days, and I just wanted to uh, hop on the channel and uh, show you guys what I picked up. Um, I got really good deals, some a nice vintage deal. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, let me know what you think about each lot, and you know how we do it with the prices and all that stuff. Let me know which lot you think is the best one. These were just from local local people around the neighborhood. So make sure you like, uh, subscribe, hit your notification button, do what you got to do. Guys, I'm coming up on a thousand subscribers. So when I do, it's going to be a major giveaway. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you don't, you don't. But subscribe, DM me, hit your notification button, do what you got to do. Give me a couple of likes. I'll appreciate it. Peace. All right, guys, here it is. Um, I got three different lots. There's this one lot here. There's a vintage lot here, and there's another lot here. Uh, I'll show you the cards. It's it's nothing crazy, but it's, it's still good stuff. Um, we start off with some of the baseball. This was all in the lot. He, we, you know, he usually just gives it gives it to me. He must be he must have broke, and he must have been he must have got uh, Boston Red Sox in a break or whatnot. So it's just a bunch of Boston Red Sox stuff, which is pretty good. A refractor Blaze Jordan that can go in my bargain box and stuff like that. Uh, the papers and stuff like that can go in my 50 cents and, and bargain boxes here. So there's just some Red Sox here. Dial back, those a couple bucks each. Blaze Jordan, a couple of bucks. Maybe a dollar on this Bogarts. Another doll back. Otani, there's a trout. Just just box stuff, 50 cent, you know, to $3 cards and whatnot. More of this. This is a little bit better stuff here. Henry Davis, Chrome, Atomic Refractor, Bowman's Best, Dahlback, Marcelo. This is probably a couple of bucks. There's an auto there. Blaze Jordan. There's a refractor number to 99. Henry Davis, a couple of Henry Davis things. Then we got... Meyer here, Blaze Jordan Refractor, another Blaze Jordan, you know, some more, couple bucks. This is how you make your money, though. You put all this stuff in bargain boxes, people go through it. A Boston Red Sox fan comes, and there's a lot of Red Sox here. Another Meyer, that's a couple of bucks. So we got a bunch of stuff here. There's a Refractor right there. That's like 10 bucks. A few of those. Blaze Jordan Sky Blue Refractor, another one. A couple of refractors here. If this guy ever pans out, I'm golden. So we got some of that stuff there. I'll get into a little bit of the better stuff. Pete Alonzo Auto, number to 70, out of tier one. Inception Auto, Alonzo, number to 150. A Wanda Franco. Green parallel rookie out of inception. Two Henry Davis refractors. A Marcelo Meyer refractor. A Blaze Jordan number to 250. A Joe Adele atomic refractor. This is like a $15 card. A Marcelo Meyer atomic refractor. That's like a 15 bucks. Another atomic. That's like 15 to 20. Blaze Jordan. That's a $30 card there, and there's a Mike Trout number to 99. Any numbered Mike Trouts are really good. That's like a, that's a $40 card. So we got here, we got some dollar cards here and stuff like that. We got a 40, 30, 20. There we go, right there is 90 bucks. Another 10, that's 100, right? 115, 125, 135, 150. This is $25, 175. And these got to be about uh, about 75 to 80 bucks each. So 175 and 150 is 325 so far. Okay. And I still, and then plus all this. So we just add, you know, 50 cents a card or whatnot. You know, whatever. This is 400 bucks. I paid 460 for the lot. And I still have all of this stuff to show you. So here we go. I'll show you this stack here. So we're at 400 right there. All right, we got a Joe Burrow, Tua, number to 49. It's about five bucks, probably 10 bucks, maybe. Another one, number to 149, number one. So that's his jersey number, maybe another 10 bucks. 
couple of Henry Davises of four bucks each. So we just rounded off, say, 10 bucks. So that's 30 bucks there. Aaron Rodgers, number to 50. It's probably about 15 bucks off the top of my head. That's $45. And then we got some more stuff here. We got some autos, a couple of bucks each. Another auto, another Mike Trout. Just a bunch of Henry Davis' stuff and Joe Adele refractors, rookie logo, Dahlback refractors and stuff like that. So right here, it's even safe to say this is probably about 80 bucks. everything here eventually when it's all said and done. So now I'm up 20 bucks. I pay 460 and I'm up 20 bucks. I'm at 480 right now. And these four cards here are pretty nice cards. Dale Murphy out of Sterling, number to 25. That's like an $80 card. David Ortiz, bat, jersey, number to 25. That goes anywhere, probably off the top of my head, I'm thinking anywhere between 75 and 150. I know it's a long, like, wide range, but sometimes these Sterling cards just. They just do that. So that's number the 25. So we can just safe to say it's about 100 bucks. This is about 80 bucks. So right now, so far, my profit is $200 on this lot. Frank Thomas, dual jersey, black and white there. Number the 25. That's about 75, 80 bucks too. Okay, so the profit is about 280. And then... This is just, I'm not a big fan of booklets, but I just, I mean, this was in the lot. You know, I couldn't pass it up. I didn't want to tell him to keep it or whatnot. But this is an awesome card. I mean, this is all the players that I like. Player materials, 16 players, number the 25. Out of National Treasures, though. Then we got here, Mickey Mantle, Pete Rose, Marichal, Whitey Ford, Frank Robinson, William McCovey, Joe Torre. Carew, Bench, Morgan, Jackson, Tom Siva, Jim Palmer, Willie Stargell, Jim Rice. Everybody that I like right there. It's a pretty cool piece. Look at that piece there. Got Mickey Mantle. That. I mean, I'm not a I'm not crazy about booklets. But, I mean, this one, I just, I, I, I had to take it. I mean, these are all Hall of Famous. Number to 25. So, the hardest part about this is, is to find the plastic that I have to buy a plastic for this to display it. If not, I'm just going to keep it folded up and in a box. This goes for about 200 bucks, believe it or not. I know it's out of National Treasures Baseball, but this does go for about 200 So... I spent four sixty on this lot, and my profit is four eighty in my head, give or take. If I throw some of these other cards in, in in boxes or give them to kids or you know for free, I'm still I'm still in the green right there. So that's how I like to buy. You know, he offered it to me. I took it. Awesome. Awesome buy. Sterling cards, you can't go wrong with them. They're so nice. On card autos, too. And a couple of Alonzo autos. So that's an awesome, awesome lot. All right. So we'll move on to, we'll save the vintage lot for last. This one is a, a local guy that, that calls me every once in a while and he, he comes up with new stuff every so often. Uh, I, I buy a lot of my non sports cards and some of my, odd, and some of my oddball items off this guy. So. Pretty cool. All right, so we'll save this for last. All right, some of, some of my non-sports card guys that follow me would, would appreciate some of this stuff. Okay, this is a Night of the Living Dead set. Classic cult movie. Everybody knows it. It's from 1990. Pretty cool. You know, I mean, I love this type of stuff. Awesome movie, awesome set. You don't find it that often. I mean, there are buyers for this type of stuff, definitely. I mean, I sold a ton of this type of stuff at Hofstra last weekend. But this is the whole set, 1990, just cool stuff. 
This I picked up from him. These used to come out of uh, the vending machines. I don't know if, if, if any of you guys know that, you know, you used to put 50 cents in and then used to come out and then you used to put the 50 cents in and push it out. And then you have this, the sticker that comes out. You, you know, you don't see those machines or that, you know, that stuff anymore. So just pretty cool stuff. I love Nightmare on Elm Street and Nightmare on Elm Street 4 was one of my favorite ones. So this is pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm just, I'm probably just going to keep it. It's just, it's cool. And Catwoman, you know, I don't know how much they're worth. I, I don't think they're worth much, but it's just the, you know, the vintage, the vintage behind it that I like. Sometimes you got to buy what you like, even if you're not going to make a profit or look to sell it. All right. This is a pretty cool set too. This is a uh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band set. You know, we got some of the Bee Gees, some of the Beatles. We got a lot of, a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, and this set actually goes for about 25 bucks. He gave it to me for five bucks. Can't pass up on it. You know, it's just old, you know, music that I love too. So just an awesome set. I think it's about, I think this. 66 cards in this set. It's pretty cool. All right, got this. <laughs> this is a uh, this is this is a pretty cool set. Um, Full House, Family Matters, and Perfect Strangers. Three awesome shows. Three some of my favorite shows actually. All right. Uh, I bought this set because of the Bob Saget card, but it's, a, I mean, it's a little too late, but there's the Bob Saget card right there. Great comedian. Just a great show. You know, then you got Family Mad is there. Perfect Strangers. I'm, you know, most people maybe don't know. Maybe they do. But this was an awesome, funny, funny ass show. Definitely. All right. So this is a, this is a set of three TV shows on, I guess, on TGI Fridays or whatever it was back in the day. Just Awesome. You know, I, I wanted it for the Bob Saget, but it's just pretty cool. And this set is pretty cool, too. This is a, definitely a cult classic um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Look, I'm cold, I'm wet, and I'm just plain scared. I'm here. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> All right, this is the whole set. This set goes for about 30 bucks, $35. You got Tim Curry there. You got Susan Sarandon there. You know, we got Meatloaf up over there and stuff like that. So it's just a just a cool, just a cool set to have, especially if you enjoy the movie. You know, all this stuff. And I'm telling you, man, the this stuff sells. This stuff definitely sells. It's pretty cool. It's a 60 card set. Awesome, awesome set. So those sets were about five dollars each. Can't go wrong with that. Now this was the big. This was the big purchase from the from that the same guy there. Uh, I picked up this Kobe Bryant, Allen Iverson Sports Illustrated for Kids rookie. In excellent condition too. I'm thinking about getting the Kobe Bryant graded. Um, I'm just a little nervous uh, actually cutting it. Uh, should I get it graded? Should I cut it? You guys let me know. You know, it's, it's, I don't, I'm not too sure what I want to do with it. Um, I mean, the best, I mean, to, to make more money, I guess, grade it, I guess, but maybe just sell it as is. Guys, let me know what you, what, what, what you would do if you were me. I don't want to mess it up though. So, so that's, uh, that's that. And then this one was awesome too. This is, uh, Tiger Woods, the Sports Illustrated for Kids rookie. That's big. This is big money. Um, I know this sheet sells for about seven hundred, maybe seven eight hundred dollars as is. Again, I let me know what you would do with it. Would you grade it? I know a PSA seven goes for about eight hundred bucks. A PSA eight goes over a thousand, and a PSA nine is like insane. So if I cut it the right way. 
I may have a, a gem on my hands right here, but you know, it, it's just tough because I'm gonna have to actually fold it the right way and be careful, have a steady hand and not mess it up. So what should I do? Should I sell it as a whole or should I give it a shot? I mean, I got it cheap enough, so it's, it's, I can give it a shot, but I just wanna hear what you guys wanna, what, what you would do if you had this or if you were in this situation. So that's just the cool stuff there. Just nice oddball items, you know? Even if I don't sell it, it's just it's just cool to have too. All right, and then now, this deal was on Monday. Just a, it was just a crazy deal. I have it posted on my Instagram too. So if you guys uh, follow me on Instagram, um, you saw some of the some of the cards in the post. Came with, which I'm not going to show you everything, but it came with a 1973 set, a 74 set, a 75 set two 1980s, an, 80, an 81 tops, an 82 tops, an 83 tops, two 83 top sets, uh, two 84 top sets, an 85 top set, uh, 84 Dunross set, an 83 Fleer set, uh, an 82 Fleer set, I believe, and uh, those were all the sets and a bunch of uh actually traded sets too 1989 88 uh flare you know flare update sets and stuff like that these are definitely two pretty big traded sets and i i kind of overlooked it when i went to the guy's house and he had it in, a, in in his closet uh he had a whole bunch of stuff in his closet he had like 1990 sets 92 and i, I wasn't really interested in that stuff um but i wasn't really interested also in the traded sets because i have so much of that stuff and i kind of overlooked it for the for the 70s sets and the early 80s sets and some singles uh so i i went back into his closet because he said oh there's are you sure there's nothing else there's nothing else like left for you that, that that you want and i'm like yeah let me let me look or whatever and i saw these sitting there and i'm like damn i i i, I totally missed it and i'm usually good at you know right away picking up you know what what's in each set and I just totally missed it. Thank God the guy told me to go back into his closet. Um, so this was the 1983 Tops Traded with the Daryl Strawberry. This Daryl Strawberry card used to be like a $3 card, no joke. Now it's like 60 bucks raw. This looks like it's in good shape all the way around. Uh, the corners are mint. The centering is nice. I was thinking about grading it. But I, I want to make sure that I get a 10 on it if I'm going to grade this card. But even though, great set with the strawberry and a bunch of others in there. But the strawberry is the big card. It's a $60 card. So that was that. Plus all those other sets that I mentioned. And then this, this monster set right here. 1984 Fleer Update. I don't know if you guys know, but this is a huge set. This set sealed goes for about 700 bucks sealed the set opened probably about 450 500 bucks you got the dwight gooden the roger clemens and the kirby pocket that's why this set goes for big money this kirby pocket is the best is is kirby pocket's best card same thing with roger clemens and the roger clemens looks scented scented well too if these if these two cards 10 these are huge. This is big money. This is just a, the the Kirby Puckets is just a little bit off scented, but still, it's just it's still a two hundred and fifty dollar card. Same thing with the Roger Clemens. Go check it up on eBay, guys, and make sure you know about this nineteen eighty four Flare Update set. If if you don't, because a lot of people have this set. Definitely, you can definitely get this in deals or in lots and vintage lots and stuff like that. So this set. Is just awesome. So that's that. So that's that's all with the sets, uh, the seventies and all that stuff. So these were the singles in this lot. Um, not that many singles, but pretty good ones. We'll start off with. Let me let me save these the ones up on top for last. I mean, you probably you guys probably saw it already, but all right. Some of the uh, the lower end got a Dale Murphy rookie. Tony Perez rookie, 
This is probably the one that's the, in, in the roughest shape, but still, it's still a Tony Perez rookie. Pretty cool. Paul Molitor rookie. Another Paul Molitor. A Carlton Fisk rookie. Raleigh Fingers rookie. Another Raleigh Fingers. Raleigh Fingers. Raleigh Fingers. Dave Winfield rookie. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at the centering on that. Corners, awesome. It's like almost right out of the pack. Awesome card. Nolan Ryan. Jim Rice, rookie. Joe Morgan. Another Joe Morgan. Thurman Munson. A couple of Jack Morris rookies. These are about five bucks each. There's my man right there. Manly, rookie. Another Jack Morris. Nettles. Mike Schmidt, 1975. Sandberg rookies, three of them. They always sell, too. I mean, this is like a, maybe a $12 to $15 card. Should be more, but this is $12 to $15, bucks and it's going to sell. Ozzie Smith rookie, a little off-scented. A couple of Cal Ripkins. Tony Gwynn rookies, one of the best hitters that ever played the game. Followed by another great hitter, Wade Boggs, and an off-scented Dave Winfield. So that's some of the lower-end stuff. And then these were, uh, actually, this, these, I just didn't change out the plastics. Lawrence Taylor rookies. Pretty good shape, too. He's been selling a lot lately. And another Paul Molitor rookie. So, got that. And then, these are the big cards here. Rob Carew rookie. This is a high number, and it's in mint condition. This card is big money. This card's like maybe six fifty to seven fifty in this condition. Tom Seaver rookie. Awesome Seaver rookie. This is probably like a PSA four in my eyes. Pretty cool card. Steve Carlton rookie. It's probably like a PSA six. Centering is decent on the two. Cal Ripken, 1982. Tops traded rookie. Awesome card. Big money. It's, a, it's 120 bucks. Ricky Henderson rookie. Along with two Ricky Hendersons in the sets too. 1980 sets. So there's like three total Ricky Henderson rookies. The 1980 set is actually going up, guys. So if you could still pick it up for like 80 to 100 bucks, I would pick it up. They're going, they're going for about 225 to 250 now. There you go. George Brett rookie and a Robin Yount rookie. A couple of these. I also have them in the set that I, with, with that. So 1975 set, 74 set, 73 set. So I got that right there. So let me know. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for this vintage lot. I want you guys to take a guess. Uh, let me know. And you know what? To be honest, though, let's just we'll do something here. If you guys guess and you come within within fifty dollars of my price, I would give you. Uh, I'll I'll do a free giveaway. All right. So if you come fifty dollars within my price, I give you guys a week, and I will give the, that person a a giveaway, even if it's more than one. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Give me a couple of likes. You know what to do. All right. And I'll see you at the next. I'll see you next time. All right. Peace out. Thanks.